when you had Durant and these other guys that played in the NBA coming through Montrose and the players you coached at the math that it made it to the league, like, could you tell what, did you know ahead of time, like they had it or did they work on the fundamentals over and over again? Like, was it time in the gym? Was it a drive they had? Like, can you try to pinpoint, which is impossible. I understand this, but what in your opinion was what these guys all shared in common that got them to the highest level of basketball? Oh yeah. There's, there's several. And if, if we use KD just as an example, I mean, it's interesting because it, it's both. If I'm being completely honest, I knew that KD had the potential to be an exceptional basketball player. So I wasn't surprised that he was able to make it all the way up to the NBA. But there is no way that I would have predicted that he was going to be as good as he's ended up being. I mean, you're talking about probably one of the top five pure scorers in the history of the game. I mean, he's he's something special. But uh, along those same lines, I'm not surprised he's one of the top scorers uh, of all time um, because he does have those those qualities. To your original question, what are the traits that I saw that united um, the guys like Kevin Durant with other elite level players? The first we've already covered, they did have a respect for the fundamentals. They mm-hmm. worked relentlessly on their ball handling, on their form, their shooting technique. You know, they'd get in you know hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of game specific reps uh, when working on their shot every single day. So the first is a, a you know a respect for the basics. Uh, the second is. They all learned how to blend confidence with humility. You know, each of those players earned the right to be confident because they put in the work during the unseen hours, but they always stayed humble enough to stay open to coaching. They stayed humble enough to stay open to feedback. They stayed humble enough to say, you know, I'm the best player on my team, or I'm the best player in the WCAC, or I'm the best player at the McDonald's All-American game, but even I still can get better that I, I haven't gotten to the top of what I'm capable of. And that humility is what allowed them to keep working on their game, to never say, you know, it, humility is what allows somebody like Kobe Bryant to land at three in the morning and say, I still need to work on my game. You know, I, I don't know when that actual scenario happened, but there's a good chance that the point that happened, he had already won an NBA championship. He was already an NBA all-star. He'd already made hundreds of millions of dollars, you know, like, and he still realized I can get better. And I'm going to try and get better at 3 a.m. 